Kevin Johnson wants all the new cars equipped with um, safety features, and next year's models are going to have a lot of them. For one thing, the new cars will have dual brakes. That's a great safety measure. Instead of running over a pedestrian, you can stop right on top of him. <laughs> and another safety measure, the new cars are going to have bumpers made out of rubber, and I think that's a good idea. After you hit a guy, it erases your license now. One way all of us could help reduce the accident rate here in California real quick. Every morning when you get into your car, don't start the motor until the smog clears and you can see the dashboard. <laughs> and another thing you should remember, especially when you're driving on the freeway, if you get a blowout, there's two things you do. Brace yourself and try to hit something cheap. <laughs> ah, speaking of guy, Marx. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been on, on this show, well, many times this season. I love that because he's nice. I'm only doing this because my back hurts me. But he is so funny and he is so Italian. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Guy Marks. Granada, tierra sonada por mí. Mi cantar se vuelve gitano cuando es para ti. Mi cantar es con fantasía. demonstration is an answer to the many, many people who have always believed I couldn't sing and wanted to make sure. When I first signed to do the role of Sergeant Robbins on the John Forsyth show, I was a little worried. I told him, fellas, listen, it's not me. You're asking me to play a loud mouth, coarse, clumsy, conceited clown who spent 10 years in the Air Force. I was in the Merchant Marine. <laughs> but they said it would be okay that all I had to do was go to some acting studio and take a few classes. So I uh, signed up at this school uh, with a director who believed in the Stanislavski method. Uh, you know about the method? Oh, it's wild. <laughs> the first day, this director looked at me. His name was Lafacado Quaid. And he said, Guy, I'd like you to become a piece of wood. Now, was this guy out of his capsule or wasn't he? I said, what kind of wood? Firewood, plywood, oak wood? He said, oh, any kind of wood. So I made like a piece of driftwood. <laughs> My next assignment was to play a very, very famous statue in Fairmount Park. <laughs> now I was ready for a more challenging part, a neon sign. I must say I padded my part a little bit because I played the sign with one of the bulbs out. <laughs> well, I enjoyed playing the neon sign, but I couldn't see anyone doing a TV series with it. So I said to the director, listen, give me something with a little more depth. Something nice and strong. He said, okay, I'd like you to be, become a fly. Now, not just any fly. I'd like you to become a uh, house fly in an Italian-American home in South Philadelphia in the year of 1935. <laughs> now, this fly is in the kitchen on the oil cloth, Langerade. It's the only place they can take off from the kitchen. Now, the woman of the house comes into the kitchen to turn on the radio to her famous and favorite Italian radio program. Buongiorno, signore e signori. La Fortuna Fly Spray Company si presentati tutti i giorni alla due and a half the Italian Lone Ranger. Però, before we start the program today, let me remind for you, when you want to buy a box of fly spray, always look for the coupon on the box. La Fortuna. Buck house. When you save for seven million gets, eh, you bring it to our factory and we give a bigger present. We give it to you a box of fly spray with a little hammer. You spread the fly spray to make the fly dizzy. When you see the fly, half a cacai, piu matalucce, poof! 
With this, the woman spots the fly on the oilcloth, grabs her spritzer can, and starts to chase the fly. The fly takes off from the oilcloth, goes through the dining room, into the hallway, up the stairs, and lands in the master bedroom right on a screen. Here's a word about old gold filter cigarettes.